guys, ladies and gentlemen, get hyped. We are going into game one right now between Complexity Gaming and Lions Esports Club. And one of these two teams going to be going home with the bronze medal and, of course, $8,000 to a company. The other going to go home in last place here at the Haunt Tour Grand Finals. The jungle now, Ophelia going to be coming in. Maybe wants to set up a kill on Keeper of the Forest, and she has the dust. She's Pretty definitely good positioning looking for a here. Kill. I think she's going to be able to get it. The haunt is applied right there. The damage goes out. There's the dust. The Minotaur stun is there. The auto attack damage. There's the Ophelia's judgment. And they're going to try to walk him down with the auto attacks here. The sonar scream. And one more auto attack. There it is. The bloodlust kill coming out as Keeper of the Forest hits the ground. But Complexity Gaming now has their eyes set on the bottom lane. Yeah, Rise might have to run around here. Out of the torture. Oh, they definitely are. There's aware. the lava surge. Glacial blast gonna be going in right there, and the judgment to finish off torture. Moon Meander brings home the kill on Tempest, and this is now going to be an easy tower kill. First. Meanwhile, we see Dracon is actually oh, being initiated on here. Dragon by is Meander. actually gonna get an elemental void right there, and Hag gonna come in. Bat blast, lava surge, and down goes Flensmeister. Flens was so deep, Benjamin, but now they're looking for a kill. Magnus going to go in, Lava Surge onto Torture, there's a keg, not going to be able to save Torture, the Glacial Blast going to be going out there, and down, well, maybe not, the auto attack damage in the Sonar Scream to finish him off, Engineer could be in a little bit of trouble, next oh. Lava Surge going to miss though, and questionable, there's the Bat Blast coming in, the keg going to help out, not going to be enough, double tap coming in for Hankster, as he bumps up to 430 gold per minute, 5-0 hero kill lead, those marks of poor man's portal key. Oh, Tempest in trouble up top. A huge vault coming in. There's another vault onto Tempest. The Glacial Blast going to be applied onto Monkey King. Root going to come out. Tempest going to go down. Dragon Flame not even needed. Haunt going to be applied as well as the Hellflower on the Keeper of the Forest, but he's just going to invis himself and say, I'm out of here. Oh, they're looking for Wretched Hag. This is an invisible Monkey King. Hag playing it safe. You can see uh -oh. him backing up after every auto attack. Watch it slam in the vault. Going to go in right there. Wretched Hag gets disintegrated. That's what happens when you've got 815 life because you went straight to Hellflower. Congor is going to go down here in favor of Complexity Gaming Lions. Even with that ward, was not able to really prevent that from happening. So, token of life goes to Wretched Hag now with a thousand life on Strength Steam Boots. Oh, they're even going to go in on Engineer right here. The Hawk going to be applied and the Sonar Scream to finish off Seal Kid. Extremely well coordinated gank and that was all set up by the deep lane ward here by Franzi. Yeah, he actually landed that. Oh, oh, power bottom throw lane, Magnus well. and Torture squaring off as Torch going to be looking perhaps for a, well, there's the chain reaction, but Torture going to go down right here. Magnus brings home the kill and uh, well, Moonmander actually grabbing credit for that one. He's all about taking the kills with the Glacial Blasts. Yeah, they got the kill, they got two quick pickoffs, the Dust of Revelation used. They actually did hit Keeper of the Force. Yeah, but the they're corner. looking for Monkey King. Auto attack damage there after the Bat Blast, the Vault going to be going out. Hag going to play caught up. One final auto attack is Haxorin. Brings home a little Monkey King head. Gaming now. Magnus channeling the eruption out of the Draconis. And he's going in in the bottom lane. The Lava Surge is there. Elemental Void after the Shrunken Head is going to be applied there. So the Meteor damage not going to be done. And Draconis trying to turn this sort of round. Just slightly, slightly missed time there from Moon Meander uh -oh, and Beacon. The plane coming out from Merchant Hag as well. Draconis is in trouble. No port up since he did try to use it before. And there's the red power throw scouting him out. The Hellflower going to be applied right here. There's the Lava Surge and the auto attack damage is going out. Down goes Dragon Complexity coming in from all angles to secure that one. Four Lions right now. And scout it out. And he is indeed. Will they use the root right now? There's the Lava Surge on the Torture. There's the root going to catch two. And with Red Lightning going to be going out. Bat Blast going to hit three players. Elemental oh Void, the power God. throw. Three Lions going to go down just like that. Engineer in some trouble. He drops the Thunderdome right here. Going to drop the turret. But no, the double tap going to be coming out right there for Francie and Lions Esports Club. Just like that. Down four players. And this could very well be a Rax for Complexity Game. I'm going to rub it in your face. I think they have Surge goes problem. in. There's the Hellflower applied, and Monkey King goes down to the Judgment Beacon. Brings home that kill, and with Monkey King dead, Lions Esports Club no longer has any room to stand on, and this Congo will go down in favor of Complexity Gaming. Well, they're kind of pretty much uh, looking to seal the deal in this game with that push. They are indeed, as with that Savage Mace, Wretched Hag going to be able to put a lot of pressure. There's the Hellfire being applied onto Torture. The auto attacks and down goes Torture. The Bound Eye hits the floor. Seal Kid going to go ahead and recover that one. Melee Rack's already below half-life, and they will go down right here, despite the Glyph of Fortification. Lions not looking to put up a fight just yet. Hasted Magnus going to be coming in as well as they rotate into the middle lane. Wretched Hag throwing in those big auto attacks, and the tower taking a lot of pressure. TP going to be coming back now from Dragon and Lions looking to put up their last fight right here. 
Hanskin did buy back in Complexity Gaming. It's going to wisely fall back. Draconis actually just finished up the Savage Mace as well. Now we're probably just going to wait just a minute here for the uh, for the Green Wave to push up. With the Hellflower on Wretch Attack, and of course the long range attrition of somebody like the Magnus, and even just the very, very early Elemental Void from Tempest, who did finish up a Shrunken Head himself, as did Magnus. They do have another option of canceling now. Uh oh, okay. no, Barrier Out is going to be popped right there. A lot of anti push coming out of lines, but the tower will actually fall. Rax now exposed. Uh, there's a Lava Surge on to Torture. The Haunt Hellflower, the Sonar Scream, and down goes Krebson. No buybacks now for the 0 6 and 1 Torture. The Electric Fence going to be going in right there. The Energy Field goes down. Beautiful deny from Flensmeister. But down goes Engineer. The Heavenly Vault going to be going. Shrunk and Head being activated. There's the Lava Surge on to Draconis. The 5 second Ember of Lightning going off right there. As Dragon turns it around, he's going to be putting the Auto Tech damage out onto Magmus. Magmus going to survive with the Shrunk and Head activated, but Dragon is dead. Here for the floor is going to be going in with the root right there, but he's going to back off. GG well played. It's coming out. The Elemental Void bringing down Monkey King for the second time. Quad kill coming out for Haxorin as the 570 gold per minute. Wretched Hag carries complexity gaming to victory in game number one. Yeah, very, very strong showing there from Complexity. We talked about both teams. I, I was expecting to see the Master of Arms more so than the Draconis. I thought it offered a little bit better synergy with their lineup. Uh, they felt confident they could sort of go with that late game carry route, but Complexity, uh, I forget what moment it was. It was just after they took that first token, they found three or four hero kills, and it was just too much for them to handle. Yeah, they, they certainly were able to get a lot of those hero kills, and really, after they got that token, they never let...